All right, so uh, my name is Eric Hurstman. I wrote the blog White African. Uh, I'm also uh, one of the founders of Ushidibi and uh, the iHub here in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. um, we're also putting together what's called uh, the M Lab, which is a mobile lab, an incubator space for people who are building apps and services. And um, as everybody knows, a facility costs money. Yes. Uh, and so to make it sustainable, instead of just going off of grant funding, uh, one of the things we decided to do was put on an event called Pivot 25. Uh, we did this for two reasons. One, uh, so that could, we could do, it could be a revenue stream for the M Lab. Uh, mm -hmm. And two, so that would bring awareness to the local uh, developers and entrepreneurs who are building apps and services in the mobile space. Uh, how we're doing this is we're bringing in a lot of investors and media people and and, and, uh, and business people for them to pitch to, mm -hmm. and uh, and and so that's the that's who we're, who it's aimed at. And uh, one of the complaints that we saw uh, recently was this um, this desire for for it to be a free conference because we were charging eight thousand shillings or six thousand shillings now. Um, at, for, for a, a pass into it. We thought about that way back in January and we decided to charge because we're not because we want to keep people out, but because we're trying to set a precedence. Mm -hmm. We think that there's value. There's value here in having uh, Pivot 25 and that people should, should understand that in advance because we're going to we're going to do this for years, we hope. And we want people to know that this is something you pay to come to. And, uh, and that, of course, helps in the sustainability. Uh, let me run you through some numbers. Okay, this is always the thing that, um, by the way, I don't have to share. This is not something that I have to share with anybody, mm -hmm. but I'm willing to share. Yes. Right? Uh, that is that we, the, the event is going to cost us uh, $110,000 okay, to put on. That, that you know, is everything from the network connection to the branding to the hotel to flying some of the people in who are coming from Rwanda and, and Uganda and, and uh, Tanzania. So there's a lot of costs involved in putting on an event. And our, our gross looks like it's going to be about 140 to 145. So you can see our profit is 30 to 35 thousand dollars, and that all goes directly into the money. Nobody, nobody else touches that money. That's what it's for. Uh, Jay Bahala, who was hired as a producer, uh, he he gets a, a small fee. I can tell you, it's not a big fee for putting this on. And um, and he might be doing it in the future. And he might not. It's up to him. Uh, one of the other things to understand is that there's a, there's a good deal of media coming. We have five major media outfits who are going to be there, as well as we've, we've, we've given 10 bloggers license to be media there. So they're going to be blogging from it. So that's 15 different outfits. Uh, and so we hope to see a lot of, of good coverage and a lot of um, people getting awareness of what's going on at the space because of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's, that's, it. that's Pivot in a nutshell. Um, again, what, what is Pivot 25? It's 25 companies pitching for seven minutes apiece on their product. The winner in five different categories will each take home 5,000 US dollars. Mm. The overall winner of those five that win will go on to demo the big pitching competition in uh, our big pitching conference in, in the Silicon Valley in California mm. later this year. That's valued. It's, it costs you $18,000 just to, to pay for your five minute space in there. So they're getting that for free mm. through us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, excellent. So I think I think picking up from there, um, one of the major concerns that um, we saw coming from the different comments from the, uh, on, on the different social media sites is how we as bloggers actually interact with with brands and, and things like that. Because um, what I feel very strongly, as you as you heard from Eric, the breakdown. There are a lot of assumptions that happen. Um, I remember once um, when the when the likes of say the SMS lotteries came out, a lot of people already put assumptions to numbers. They would say that 20 million mobile subscribers, this thing is charging um, 50 shillings, so do 20 million times 50 shillings, we are creating billionaires at the expense of, of local Kenyans. And I mean, things like that will circulate around the block without anyone really going to an authority and saying, okay, fine, if you're an authority in the vast space, how, how, do, these numbers, how do these numbers work out? You know, you, you never know what share is going to government, you never know what share is going to the mobile operators. Um, you don't know the cost of media, and you also don't know the cost of, um, of just running those sort of promotions. So I think even as we, even as we say blogging is, um, is all about giving your opinion, and, and yes, again, it's your opinion. We could decide whether or not to read your blog. But as people are, again, setting a precedence, we might have, in the end, as bloggers who are trying to 
become this force that you know brands can utilize. We might be making ourselves too toxic because we are averse to um, say proper engagement. Mm. As soon as you start calling people um, the F word and, and starting to insinuate that they are thieves, you know, just just calling calling people really nasty names. I think what we're making ourselves is we're alienating ourselves. Bobo is not going to buy ad space on Kachwanya. That is highly unlikely. Mm. But I, I, I would like for Coke to buy space on on his domain. But if you start saying, have you have you tasted this particular Coke product and it tastes like it? Mm. You know, as opposed to trying to get pro proper means of engagement. We are shooting ourselves in the foot. We are not our own audience. Um, and it, it should not be about who's 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 the baddest of us all in terms of in terms of clobbering a brand or trying to get um, I'll call it as it is trying to get traffic by negative posts. Yes, uh, negative posts talking as I was about to say talking out of your ass, but yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, that, that's my opinion. As 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 bloggers, as people who um, swell by swell, we actually alternative meet people come to us for the second, third opinion. And if you are seen as uh, people who are bitter all the time, people who are attacking brands and other people directly in a way that is unpalatable, I think mm. we're just we're just being the madmen in the marketplace. And very soon, guys will start ignoring us. Yeah, I totally agree. I think there's one thing too that's very interesting that you said there is that uh, if you go after a brand. Um, uh, be it Pivot 25 or be it uh, a, a large corporate brand, and you go at them aggressively, don't be surprised when you get blocked, right? And instead, if you actually foster a relationship, you'll get those numbers. Mm -hmm. You'll get that information, and you'll be able to talk uh, as if you have some kind of, uh, you know, value in the, in the space. Yeah. And uh, I think that, 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 you know, ability to, to be personable is important in blogging. I mean, I've done this for many years now, right? We've all been blogging for a couple of years. And... Uh, those who stand the test of time are the ones who understand that you have to have some social skills. It's not just about knowing how to write. Mm. And okay, one thing I like about Kenya now is a free. I would say it's a free market. You know, mm. if you organize an event, and you spill your event, whatever you are charging, I mean, it's <laughs> it's 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 for your calculation. Yeah. I didn't yeah. see any problem with people to five charging eight k, ten k, even twenty k. When we when we had the mobile East Africa conference, people were charged around thirty thousand. Mm. And, and I mean, if if yeah. you can afford thirty thousand to attend the conference according to the value you're expected to get yeah. from me, yeah. then well and good, go. If you can't, then and, let's take and let's remember, yeah. let's remember. Let's remember. Just bring up that as an example is good. These are those are conferences being put on by guys from the UK and other countries who are taking the money out. Exactly. Yes. And we're we're not complaining about that. Yeah. But we, we complain when it's being done by our own guys. So this is one of the problems that we need to overcome here. And that is, because just because someone else is succeeding doesn't mean you're failing. Yes. Zero sum mentality. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. It comes from a mentality of scarcity versus a mentality of wealth. Mm. Actually, we mentioned that. Think about this. This, um, this management gurus who come and charge 70,000 shillings per seat for, again, a two-day event, and all that money is shipped out. Um, one of the things we're questioning among ourselves is credibility. Say, yeah, so you're from company so-and-so. What makes Kachwanya the person to speak to us? Does Kachwanya need to be flown in from, from Silicon Valley so that I can say, ah, he's from the Valley? Yeah. We're, not, we're not appreciating our own in terms of saying... It's an inferiority complex. These are actually people who mm. are from, the, from our space, they're local people, and we should be able to pay to listen to them. You know, don't, otherwise, what are we saying about, about ourselves? And even that said, what are we doing about um, enhancing that that sort of openness. Um, I'll call out one of the key things that has been happening on, on, on social media, saying a lot of innovation is happening in my way. Nothing has prevented someone from, the, the, the Pasha grants. Again, someone can talk, can talk um, negative about those grants, but nothing has stopped you from getting your own consortium and setting up An a lab that yeah. mimics the IHUB or the MLAB in Kericho. And we need more of them. And we need more of them. Yeah, yeah I mean, the for, for starters, coming to think of it, somebody is trying, trying to fight something that is an initiative that is already showing impact. We have things that have grown from this. Before, before this initiative, was there, was there anything that was, say, mm -hmm. growing the days the down there? The textbooks, nothing. Nothing. And yeah. now when there's something that is looking like it, there is something that can come, over, come out of it, mm -hmm. there's somebody already fighting. Yeah. I think it's the thing of someone hating success because they're not associated by it, while at the same time 
they are they are alienating the people who would put them inside the success circle. That's 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 the biggest problem here. Yeah. I think when it comes to blogging, um, because uh, like yesterday when I'm, I was in a uh, uh, workshop for Microsoft, and this is something in this case I, I'm looking at closely. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't you you, you can't. You, 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 there's no way you need acceptance. At the same time, you fight with people who you want them to accept you. If I'm fighting you, and you want, I want you to accept me, what am I doing? Talking about what you're saying, you gave them eight numbers. Because ten. one of the ten. Yeah. One of the, the thing I read about that uh, post was that numbers were mistreated. Um, and, and personally, I'd already known that the bloggers were coming for this event, so I didn't even see the sense on that part. Yeah. Uh, so the question was, did this same uh, particular blogger was blocked from it? And maybe it's just a personal thing. So I think... Yeah, mm. that, that's what it is. That's where, this, again, the social skills come exactly, in. Exactly, yeah. You know, yeah. Um, if people are blocked, it's probably because of their past history. Exactly. Not because, of, uh, not because they're not a good blogger. Mm. You know, people's actions speak louder than their words at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And people who have a track record over time, um, they prove out, right? If you're bad over time, guess what? You get treated badly. If yeah. you're good over time, you get treated well. Mm -hmm. And that's just how the world works. And precisely, your brand is packaged. It's, it's, it's you who talks of who pushes your brand. If, you, if you're bad and you're pushing some brand, people will start to treat you with the brand. That's exactly and right. Yeah. Possibly not really, but there will be some negative effects to it. Okay, so in closing, what you're saying is, um, as, as bloggers, we need to we need, need to own this place and be responsible about it. We need to engage better with the community because that very same community is what will support us. Um, we've got the Bloggers Association called Big, um, and we're trying to aggregate um, pretty much all the blogs in Kenya so that we can at least try to get some level. We can start winning corporates into into understanding the social media space and at least. Uh, monetizing it and one of the only ways we can do that is if we show value if we show mm. if we show respect um, and we show that we're open to engagement so that mm. anytime someone wants to even roll out a product actually bloggers should be the first ones to know exactly. you know exactly. but nothing like that will happen if you're if you're seen as uh, the um, antagonist the antagonist the guys will always always bitch about about stuff. The smallest things, even without getting the facts, that's a problem. Yeah, yeah. that essentially we're yeah. shooting ourselves in the foot. Well, and, and also taking your, if you can't treat your peers well, of course the corporates don't think they can treat, they, you'll treat them well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing, on my life I'm trying to do business, the people I get business from, the normal people you know, you know, it's yeah. just the yeah. normal people you know, it's um, that's the guy who will tell you, you know, I have somebody and I know you, you can do this. And that connection comes in. So mm. If it's about attacking people personally in between, why, bur why burn your network? Exactly, right? you're yeah. burning your bridges. And in any yeah. case, in any in any business, whether you're starting small or you're somewhere up there, if uh, let's say you're in a situation where you're down there and you want to make it really big, you have to start acting like that person is big and try to fit in their shoes. Don't struggle. You're down there and you're acting like you're down there. You don't want to make any changes to your. To your, to your whatever to your daily running yeah. to make yourself grow up there. Mm. Still fed up. And then the last thing I will say about blogging, I think it's high time we stop being thinking we are small because we yeah, are nobody. Mm. Um, the contents are. No, I mean, <coughs> we have a lot of content now. If you are a tech blogger, you have a lot of content. Now. So it's, it's it's time now we start behaving as people. It's not mm. still to make, uh, to outdo each other exactly. yeah 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 excellent okay good